Good morning all, it's post bag and it's a gift from China in a yellow envelope. So let's see what this is. It's uh, this. Right, well it's a buck regulator with two three digit displays and look at that, four potentiometers. Now I love these little DC to DC converters, particularly the ones with uh, LED displays on them. So when I saw one with four potentiometers, I was intrigued and even more so when I saw it say there, MPPT. Let's take a look at this on eBay. So here it is, it's described as an MPPT, maximum PowerPoint tracking. Uh, well, maybe T isn't tracking, but we'll come back to that. Solar panel controller, five amps, DC to DC, step down, uh, CCCV, so constant current, constant voltage, charging module plus digital LED. So really it's a jack of all trades. It's a DC to DC step down converter. It could be used as an LED driver because of the constant current potentiometer, but it also has something related to solar panels. And that's where I want to try and experiment with this thing today. So I bought this one uh, for $11.99, free shipping from Tea Happy. But um, I just want to show you a couple of others because there appear to be three variants of this. Um, so I'm just going to go to Tea Happy's store and uh, type in MPPT as a search. And here are the three different types. Now they all seem to be based on this same uh, base board with the LED, it's a dual color LED, uh, the four potentiometers and this uh, inductor here. But there is a type with a single uh, three digit display for $10.99. There's the dual digit display uh, for $11.99 and then there's the one with no display at all for $8.29. I thought I'd go for the all singing, all dancing version. So uh, I've got a solar panel with a 2.1 millimeter uh, plug on it. So I'm going to connect to this CCDV style adapter thingy. Uh, positive is at the top there, so that's going to have to flip round. Now it seems that uh, Mother Nature's on my side today because it's shaping up to be a really nice sunny day. So uh, hopefully we can do lots of solar panel experiments with this. Okay, ready. Well now, out here, uh, well now there is some clouds, so the sun's kind of going in and out, but uh, I don't know, maybe that'll be a good thing. Perhaps that'll test the uh, so-called tracking system. Uh, so here's my solar panel. I've uh, just put it down on the ground there. There's no sun at the moment, but uh, that'll pick it up when there is, and I've run a cable in through the workshop window. Now this is a 36 cell panel, so it has an open circuit voltage of about 20 volts. What's the spec say there? Uh, yes, 20 watts peak. Uh, the max power voltage VMP is 17.2 volts. Open circuit voltage uh, 21.6 volts and max power current 1.17 amps. Okay, let's head back indoors. So let's start by plugging the solar panel which is connected to here into the input of this unit. So that comes on. Um, now I'm reading the output voltage, which is 12.2 volts. The input voltage is 19.5. And then the bottom display is reading current. Now, of course, there's nothing because there's nothing on the output. And then with the LED on, it's power in watts. Now, a while ago, I did a video with a 20 watt car brake light bulb. Actually, it's a 21 watt, 12 volt connected directly to the 20 watt solar panel. And uh, when I connected it directly, it came on, but very dimly. I can't do it at the moment because the sun's just gone in, so it won't come on at all. And that's because the resistance of the bulb is very low. It's designed for use at 12 volts. So it pulls the voltage of the solar panel way down. In fact, it pulled it down to about six or seven volts, I think. And I was only getting six or seven watts flowing into the bulb. So the sun's come out, I think it's partially obscured, but let's just give that a try. Well, that's come on, yes, it must be obscured because it was it was brighter than that, but uh, that shows the problem. It comes on very dimly. Um, it's not putting the panel at its maximum power point. And I'm hoping that by using the uh, 
DC to DC converter, we can get more brightness out of this bulb. Well, now that works. Um, the bulb is certainly brighter, but it's the voltage is dropping way down. I think the sun's coming stronger now. It's not holding at 12 volts. Um, this load it seems to be a little bit too heavy for this DC to DC converter. Shouldn't be, but uh, I think I'm going to ease off on the uh, on the power of the load. So I've now got uh, a 15 watt bulb. Effectively, this is three five watt uh, car bulbs. Let's plug those into the converter. And yes, they're pretty much uh, running at full strength. It has pulled it down a little bit. Um, this was working fine when the sun was uh, fully out. That's holding at 12.2 volts. So perhaps I'll just wait for the sun to come out. It's not turning out to be quite the cloudless day that uh, I thought it was going to be. Now, just a couple of uh, comments while I'm waiting for the sun to come back out. These pot adjusters are very close to the edge of this display board. In fact, I've loosened the bolts on this a bit so that it just moves over. But I'm finding it quite difficult to adjust the pots because the adjuster is just catching on the edge of this board. Uh, it's even worse on this left-hand pot, the MPPT pot, because the adjuster is getting caught on the corner of the switch and it's creating all these gouge lines on my pot adjuster. So they're not ideally positioned, really. Right, with some full strength sun, we're now maintaining a full 12.5 volts on the output, so we're getting maximum power going to the bulbs. The power is actually 12.5 watts, so it must be exactly one amp. In fact, let's look at that. Well, it says it's a little bit above, but uh, okay, that's good. Now let's look at the input voltage. That's 17.6, and I'll try adjusting the MPPT pot. So with the MPPT pot fully to the left, we've got a high panel voltage and no power going to the bulbs. They're not lit at all. And then as I rotate that clockwise, the panel voltage comes down, the bulbs brighten up, and then it hits this point where it won't go any further. So that's kind of maximum power. But it can't be tracking because there's no intelligence on this board. Let's have a look at the, uh, the back of the board. So all there is on here is an XL Semi XL4015 uh, buck regulator chip. There's an LM358 there, uh, a couple of diodes up this end, and then there's a three terminal voltage regulator there. But uh, as long as there's full strength sun, it does seem to be just at this moment, um, it's holding the output voltage uh, to the voltage I set on the voltage pot. It's holding the input voltage at something very close to the solar panel's maximum power point. Okay, the sun's dropping now and the input voltage is dropping low. The output voltage has also dropped low because the power's dropped right off. Oh, that's coming back up again now. It's confounding me, this weather. So with a straightforward resistive load, this unit does seem to be able to do the DC to DC conversion from a higher voltage at the input to a lower voltage at the output to match a solar panel to a set of bulbs. I'm quite impressed, really. But with the heavier load represented by this 20 watt bulb, um, the regulator just doesn't seem to be able to hold the output voltage and therefore the power isn't 20 watts as you'd expect. Right, let's try something else. Let's um, try charging a lead acid battery from the solar panel using this to try and get additional power out of the panel by matching the voltage. So what I'm going to do is raise the output voltage of this up to 13.5 volts because that's the maximum voltage that I want my battery to go to. So there's 13.5. Now I could current limit it. I don't think it's really necessary with a 20 watt panel going into this lead acid battery. So let's connect this up. Now I've put a diode in the yellow wire here uh, from the positive because the listing on eBay says you can't connect a battery directly to the output of this converter without the diode, otherwise this thing will blow up. So let's try connecting it with that diode. So that's it connected up. Um, it survived, it's fine, it didn't go bang. So uh, the diode has protected uh, this. Now the sun's coming out now, that's interesting. Um, we've got 13.6 volts at the output, 19 volts at the input, 
Don't seem to have any power at the moment though, I wonder what that's all about. Now the reason there was no power showing on here of course was because the battery voltage had gone up to 13.5 volts. It was It's fully charged effectively so it wasn't drawing any power. So I've just put a 20 watt bulb on the battery and I'm going to leave it there for a while to just take um, the edge off the battery's charge. And then when I switch this back on, uh, of course, we should get power flowing through charging the battery. So this is reconnected. Uh, I've got 13.3 volts on the output. Uh, power is 10 watts. So yes, we have power flowing through from the solar panel to the battery. Let's just see what the panel voltage is. Well, that's not very high because the sun's gone in again. <sighs> okay, I think this is working now. We've got 17.6 volts on the panel, 13.5 volts on the battery, a total of 10 watts being transferred into the battery. That does seem a little bit low. But it is doing a sort of DC to DC conversion. Well, it's doing a DC to DC conversion. And presumably, by converting from 17.8 volts down to 13.6, maximizing power from the solar panel. So it sort of works. Great big dark gray cloud. Can you please go away? Because you're not helping my video. You're not helping at all.